hey guys in today's tutorial we're going to be learning how to make this cow neckline okay if that's what you're interested in learning how to make then keep watching this video to the very end subscribe and share okay let's head straight to the pattern drafting tutorial so you'll be needing your basic body front okay your basic neckline of course your armhole your side bust darts and your waist darts okay and then i came down by one inch before marking my waist dart because I don't want it to get to the boss point it's going to look awkward when it's there so I had to come down by one inch now heading straight to the neckline I'm going to be deducting just very little from the basic neckline and on the shoulder I'm marking half an inch and on the depth I'm also marking half an inch I'll connect this now together which is going to be my new neckline So having done that, the next thing we are going to do is to remove that very part that was attached. So I went ahead to mark half inch on this very part of my shoulder and I'm going to be using my bust point line as a guide, okay? Marked 2 inches on that very bust point line, on my bust point line I marked 2 inches, okay? So now I'm going to be connecting these two points together in a curved form to form a curve, okay? So I first of all started with dotted lines so I don't just rule a line and I find that it's not good. And when I'm pleased with what I have with the dotted lines, I went ahead to make them full, okay? I went ahead to draw the line properly. So this is what it looks like. And then the next thing I'm going to do is to separate this okay i'm going ahead to cut this out now so now this is what it looks like after you've cut it out okay now heading back to the other part of our half scale block bodies you can see I have my side bust that and my waist that. So now I'm going to be closing up this waist, the side bust that. Because from the very tutorial we're making, we did not sew it up. So when you watch closely, you find out that the side bust was not sewn. Definitely the dart was closed, okay? So now I went ahead to open up the dart and I'm closing it like so. And then I opened it up at that very part, as you can see at the top. And when we leave this like this, and during the sewing process, you find out that the other bodies is actually bigger than the part where we are going to have our cow. So in order not to have this kind of effect, or one part is longer or one part is shorter than the other, we are going to be closing that very place where we open the side bust that, and then we have to open it at the waist that so we can sew it up. I hope that is understandable. It's very simple. We opened the side bust that at that very part then we closed it and opened it at the waist that so we can sew it up okay that was just what we did now remember that very mark you also want to follow that mark while marking your dart on your fabric so you don't sew to the very point of your bust so i haven't done that now this is what the very other pattern should look like now we'll set that aside and work on this one i took the measurement of that very part of my neck on my shoulder rather and i divided it by four inches so whatever you get you're going to be marking out the lines like i said i took the measurement and i divided by four inches same thing with this side i took the measurement and i divided by four inches okay same thing with the center front i went ahead to take the measurement also and i'm dividing it by four inches okay so i'm dividing by four please not by four inches i'm dividing by four so having done that, I used my marker to make the lines visible. Now I'm going to be connecting these two lines together with my ruler. Just as I was doing this, I noticed that this very part 
close to the neckline is actually very tiny and it shouldn't be so so when you're on your please make sure you leave enough space before the neckline okay make sure you leave enough space before the neckline and now i'm slashing i'm going to spreading this out on a fresh pattern paper i'm trying to set it so the center front is straight please you want to make sure that your center front is straight do not let it slant make sure your center front is straight then i'm going ahead now to tape down this part okay before i start opening up for the spreading and i decided to use four inches of gap the reason why i'm using four inches of gap is so the cow comes out very well so you, you the cow is obvious the cow design is obvious and you notice it so i'm using four inches apart okay i'm gonna be using four inches apart on each of these lines And then also, when you get to the top, that is the very third one before the neckline. Please, you want to reduce it. I actually didn't do that, but I went ahead to reduce it later on the pattern. You'll see that as we go on in this tutorial. But to make it easier for you, once you get to the very third slash, please reduce that 4 inches before you get to the neckline. Make sure you reduce it. Okay. So on the next one, that was exactly what, what I'm trying to say. On the next one, you're try, you're going to be reducing it. But I used 4 inches and I'm actually going to reduce it in this very video and you'll see it. But to make it easier for you, please reduce it now. It's easier you reduce it. It's going to be very easier for you to reduce it now. Okay, you can use like 3 inches or 2 inches if possible, 2 inches. So the neckline will be obvious. If you make it four inches like so, the cowl is going to cover the neckline. And I'm going to be showing you that as we move on in the tutorial. So now for the fold, you're going to fold like this. If you've been following my tutorial, you should get used to slash and spread. And also using slash and spread to form pleats. So you're going to be folding like this, like the normal slash and spread first. So after folding like this, you will pick up the center like so. Remember for the cowl, it is the added fullness that is out is the added fullness that is forming the cow so we want the added fullness to be outwards so you pick up the center like so and now you're trying to bring the white patterns together the white paper together okay like this i hope i'm trying to i'm trying to explain this in the simplest form and i'm taking my time including while drafting the pattern so i used my marker to mark where each of them started and then with my ruler or whatever friend i'm going to join it together like so i'm going to join it together i'll be doing the same thing to each and every of the slash and spread okay i'm going to be doing the same thing on them the reason why we're doing this is it's going to ease in fact it's going to make your work come out nice if you slash and spread the normal way and fold it inside, automatically when you're sewing, you have your when you've cut on the fabric, the fold is going to fall inside. The cow will fall inside and not on the outside. So the beauty of the design won't be there. Okay. I was actually folding outwards then. I remember I was supposed to make the tutorial again, like I was supposed to explain again so you guys can understand. Especially for beginners, you want to fold inwards first. Far for everybody, it's going to make your life a whole lot easier. You want to fold inwards first, like the normal slash and spread for pleats, okay? Especially for drape design and something like that. You want to fold inwards first. Then make sure you get that very middle part of your paper very well. Now, when you've gotten the middle, the mid part of your paper on that fold, you want to hold it and then bring the white ones together so they can meet. The white ones together so they can meet. Now, use your marker and mark the tip of it where it started, like so, on both of them. Don't worry about where it started and where it ended. We'll still go ahead to through it to make sure everything is in okay. 
just get the folds appropriately and correctly you're good to go so that same thing i also go ahead to do to this other part okay i'm taking my time to explain because this is actually the most important part of this tutorial so the cow comes out nice this is what you have to do So like I said, you have to do this first before the outward folding. Now that 4 inches that I took for this very part, you're going to see what the reason why I said the 4 inches is too much. Okay. So now that I'm folding like so, if you watch closely, you find that the cow has covered the neckline. So obviously 4 inches is too much. Like I said, while adding your fullness to that very part, you want to reduce that 4 inches to about 2 inches or 2.5. Please, maximum 2.5. I wouldn't advise 2 inches. As we go on in this tutorial, you'll find that I had to reduce it. And I'll also show you guys how to reduce it in case you forgot and you used 4 inches. I'll also show you how to reduce it. Not just for this tutorial, it's also going to be helpful for every other tutorial. If you've added so much fullness, you can also reduce it. So now, we went ahead to through this. Remember that we are going to be sewing up our center line, our center front. And we want the sew or the line of the center front to be in accordance despite the cow. So now from your neckline, you're going to be throwing this. And making sure that the line curves to the very point where you're going to be joining to this. I hope that's understandable. I placed it on the fresh pattern paper. I folded it. And from the neckline, I had to mark a curve to meet this very particular one here. That we're going to be joining to our half scale. The part where we have the dart. So I haven't done that. I opened it up and this is what it looks like. Now I'm going ahead to reduce that very part that I talked about. Okay. So from the center, we are going to be removing half inch on both sides. From the center of that added fullness, we are going to be removing half inch on both sides. Okay. And then you now tape it. You bring it together and tape it down. So I'm going to have to reduce it. Can you see that? So I'm going ahead now to tape it down properly so it doesn't move out of place. Okay. So now this is what it looks like. I'm trying to fold it to see if it's still much. It's not that much. At least we can see um, some part of my neckline which is actually okay. So I'll cut off every excess that is not needed. And this right here is actually the pattern that we need for the cow. And these two are our patterns for this very particular top. I went ahead to cut it in a fabric and this is what it looks like on a fabric. I imputed my darts. I'll open up. We have this part on fold. And this other part we are going to be sewing up our center front. Now, you remember this very part before we slashed and spread? Please, 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 you have to set it aside as your lining. Lining or a base. Do I call that a base? You have to set it aside as your base. Okay. Because that's where you're going to be sewing up these very parts where you slashed and spread your shoulder. Okay. Like it's going to help you. It's going to form like a guide, a base for you to know what you're doing. Okay. And we'll see that as we move on in this tutorial. So this is what it looks like after I've sewn it. Everything came out well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share to other platforms where it will be needed. Like this video. Leave a comment in the comment section. And I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye.